Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. My name is Sash, if you're new here, welcome, thanks for stopping by. I am going to do an interesting video today, interesting in the way that I've never done anything like this before. A subscriber has asked me a lot of questions uh, regarding Melbourne. I believe he lives in Melbourne. This is from about a year ago. Sorry, I haven't replied, but I just thought without any research, I'm just gonna read out the questions and answer them to the best of my ability slash my own personal opinion. Take this with a grain of salt. If you're new here, I have been living in Vancouver for three and a half years now. So yeah, I've been here for a while and lived in Melbourne for about 25 years of my life. So let's just get on to answering all these questions. There are some interesting ones, so bear with me. It is about two scrolls down of questions. I'm just gonna read through them. I believe the subscriber's name is Dimitri. I wanna say, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Most of the houses in Vancouver are detached houses with gardens, even close to business center. What about Melbourne? Uh, it depends. In Melbourne city, like Melbourne CBD, it's just apartments and not many people live in the business center. I know that in Vancouver, a lot more people do. I would say that the majority of places in Melbourne have a patio like a balcony and just in general melbourne as a big city everyone has a garden off the top of my head every place i've lived in has had a pretty big garden there's a lot of space in australia so cool vancouver is very green where detached houses are but has few trees and grass and business center what about Melbourne? Which city is greener? That's a tough one. Stanley Park is humongous, but it's not really in the city. So on that perspective, Melbourne is a lot more, I don't know. I think they're on par actually, because Vancouver has cute little parks. I've popped them in some of my vlogs before. If you guys have followed me for a while, day in the lives, I show you like the little pockets of green around here and then a lot of nice walks. So I'm going to say Vancouver for this one is greener, but then Melbourne has beautiful gardens, but it's just not, I think Vancouver incorporates green a bit more. Okay. Canadian healthcare is paid from taxes, but does not include teeth and vision. What about healthcare in Melbourne? Do you have to pay or is it paid from taxes? And a teeth and vision also included? I don't know. Private health insurance, you get everything covered. I don't believe optical and dental are included. I have no idea. Not from my understanding. We have Medicare, which covers like going to the GP and all of that is free. But yeah, I think I've always had to pay dental and optical. I believe when I was under my parents' private health until I was the, at the age of 25, I got something covered. But next question, because I don't know. He has some stats in this one. About 35% of people in Vancouver are Asian. In Greater Vancouver, more than 50% of people are Asian. What about Melbourne? Melbourne is super close to Asia. We are part of, like, it's Australasia. It's so, so close. And yeah, I would say that a large majority of Melbourne is um, Asian, East Indian. We have so many different cultures. It's a real, like, what do they call it? Like, melting pot? Is that the right term? Honestly, Melbourne is probably the most multicultural city in Australia, just putting it out there from my experience, and you can find pretty much any nationality in Australia. So I would say, yeah, I would say a lot of Melbourne's population is Asian or of Asian descent, because at the end of the day, I'm not really Australian. I'm not indigenous. I'm not, um, yeah, an Aboriginal Australian. So we are all from somewhere else, unless you are indigenous. So. In that regard, yes, we do have an amazing um, population that's mixed. And yeah, I would say in the 90s, we had a huge influx of immigration from China and that sort of area and Vietnam and the Philippines and Singapore and Indonesia and all of that. So yeah, but again, I'm no expert. So where taxes are higher, where are taxes higher here? Where are people friendlier? Melbourne. But there are many drug addicts and mentally sick people in the streets in downtown Vancouver. What about Melbourne? I would say I've never seen anything like Vancouver's homeless issue. It's horrendous and it's very sad. And yeah, I, uh, yeah, it's, it's tough. Melbourne has homeless. Yes, they have a lot of people who need psychiatric help. Yes, but I have only seen a handful of people last time I was in Australia. So that was 2019. So I don't know since the pandemic what's happened, but I don't believe there's anything like the downtown east side in, in Melbourne. Not at all. Where are streets cleaner? I would say environmentally, like with rubbish and stuff, I think Vancouver is pretty spotless because it's not as 
busy uh, downtown area and I think that Vancouver well like the city government's done a good job on having a lot of uh, rubbish bins around that has like a recycling area and compost and things like that so on that element I believe they're greener I think there's a lot less waste around but in terms of cleaner with drugs Vancouver's worse because I've literally seen on the way to work in broad daylight people like shooting up needles and there are kids walking past and that's quite confronting and I've never seen that in Melbourne in broad daylight I'm sure it happens at night but it's the drug issue over here is really awful and yeah it's it's very confronting does Melbourne have more bicycles uh, it definitely has more motorbikes okay uh, <laughs> I mean I'm not a bicycle expert but people cycle here a lot I don't know I think they're both on par because Melbournians cycle a lot but I think Feel, I don't know, the cyclists here are really intense, so I don't know, it's a tough one. I'm gonna say Vancouver has more bicycles. I guess people who bicycle. Is cold season sunnier and drier in Melbourne? I would say yes, just because the rain is on another level in Vancouver. Overall, Melbourne is like very, very rainy. Um, but it's like the four seasons in a day. So in winter, it can be 10 degrees Celsius, sunny, and on your lunch break, it rains. In the afternoon, you're taking off a jumper because it's t-shirt weather, and then it could be hailing later on. Like, it's very temperamental, but if you think north, like in Australia, up north is tropical, so they have like a wet season, and it's literally like pouring rain like the roads can flood i remember taking off my shoes and socks and when i was little um living up in queensland because it would be like torrential rain like it would be in a sort of tropical area so melbourne overall like rains but here it like drizzles and it's constant so i would say overall melbourne but i'm not gonna lie it does rain a lot in melbourne where people are more athletic in brackets less fat I'm just gonna answer the more athletic part. I don't really know how to answer that, but I feel people hike a lot more here and Vancouver is a very active city. But again, like, so is Melbourne. So that's a tough one. I honestly would say Vancouver is more athletic, but I don't like the term less fat and anything about that. So anyway, next question, where are parks better? That's tough. I love, I love Stanley Park, but I love the beautiful like botanical gardens in Melbourne because there's a lot of different kinds of environment. Whereas here it's a lot of woodland, which is gorgeous. It's very like twilight movies, like pine trees everywhere. But overall, oh, it's so hard. Let's just say they're equal with parks because they're both very different, but yeah. Um, where are wages higher? Australia. In which city living expenses, including rent are cheaper? I would still say Australia. Um, where is it cheaper to buy a house? I mean, if you're thinking all of a Australia and all of Canada I don't know I'm sure if you moved to the middle of Manitoba you could buy a house if you moved to a random part in Australia you could buy a house too so anywhere that's very densely populated near the sea you're gonna have to spend a lot more on a house so I think if you worked a good job you could buy a house in either country but I would say maybe Canada would be easier to buy a house but I've never bought a house so again no idea which city has be better public transport just because I love trams, I'm gonna say Melbourne just because trams are fun and the buses here are really gross, but the transit's quite good around downtown Vancouver. Like there's always buses. This sort of goes into the next question, which is what is better, trams in Melbourne or trolley buses in Vancouver? We don't have trolley buses here. I know in Toronto they have, I think they call them trolleys, but they're like trams, uh, which are great. But yeah, I mean, the bus system here is fine. I just think they're really gross and you get gross people. The trains in Melbourne are great and the trams, but I'm just biased because I just prefer oh the SkyTrain is good here the best thing about Vancouver is there is a train from the airport to the city Melbourne doesn't have that and it's very annoying it takes forever and it costs a lot where road traffic is less busy I would say it's less busy here just because it's less populated but the traffic sucks in both cities Melbourne will be worse I've driven in that traffic for hours peak hour so beginning of a work day end of a work day is horrendous so as i've said in previous videos if you're living in the city and you work in the city probably live in the city because the amount of hours that you spend in a car just sitting in traffic is is obscene i know that i used to commute to work in Melbourne and I would spend 45 minutes driving one way to get to work and that was quick. So people do travel for work in Melbourne going against traffic for different things. You can be stuck in for like 
hours. So people leave at like 5.30 in the morning to get to work for like 8.30. So both cities are terrible with traffic, I won't lie to you, but I've only driven really back home and it's horrendous in Melbourne, it's getting worse. There are so many more questions. I'm gonna see if I can speed this up. Which city has more cycling lanes? Melbourne, I'm gonna say. Most sidewalks in Vancouver are made of concrete slabs with uneven seams between them. What about Melbourne? Asphalt or also concrete slabs or maybe set? I don't know what that means. Pavements back home are, are good. In some areas, like the road can be cobblestones because it's older, but overall the pavement's pretty good. I haven't noticed it being bad, but I'm in the privileged position that I um, have the use of both my legs and don't need uh, any sort of support. So I, yeah, I'm in a privileged position to say I really haven't noticed the asphalt or pavement. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if that's important to you guys. Um, I don't know because I've never really thought about it. Where nature outside the city is better. Vancouver has mountains, lake, forest, ocean near the city. Is Melbourne surrounded by a desert? Uh, Melbourne isn't surrounded by a desert. Again, both have beautiful surroundings outside the city. You can travel outside of Melbourne and be in wineries or the beach and things like that. For nature, like hiking and stuff, Vancouver definitely, if you obviously like skiing, you can get, you can go skiing after work if you wanted to. Uh, but if skiing doesn't matter to you, Melbourne, if skiing and snow sports matter to you, Vancouver for sure. Yeah, I love the nature that surrounds Melbourne. I would say it's more bush and I don't even know if I'd say forest, but lots of beach trails and things like that. On the peninsula, there's lots of bushwalks, we like to call them. But it's just sort of different sort of forest. Like, it's not pine tree forest. It's like a lot of Australian trees. I don't know. Um, okay. Where is the air cleaner? I think technically the air is cleaner in Vancouver. Like, in BC as a whole. Like, if you're on Nanaimo, uh, not Nanaimo, if you're on Vancouver Island, definitely there because it's an ocean breeze. Like, if you're in Tofino or something, that is, like, the most pure air I believe you can get in the world. It's amazing. But in Vancouver, I would say it's not great, especially because you can always smell marijuana somewhere, and I'm not a fan of that. So, if you like weed, yay. Uh, in Australia, if you're on the beach, it's beautiful ocean air. I would say I've had constant more experience with better air quality in Melbourne, but if you travel outside of Vancouver here, it's also amazing. So both cities have amazing air quality overall. Are there rainy months in Melbourne? Yes, the rainiest time would be, I mean, usually it's like the spring and the autumn. So those months would be the rainiest. I would say spring overall. So probably let's say August to November, you're gonna get more rain than in the middle of summer. Winter, I guess like July, July, August is gonna be the coldest and the wettest in Melbourne, let's just say. So if you wanna go in the summer, go at Christmas time if you live overseas, like in the Northern part of the world. So Christmas, New Year, go down to Melbourne and get the beach and the sun. Um, many people in Vancouver smoke marijuana. Is it legal to smoke tobacco and marijuana in the streets of Melbourne? Cigarettes, you can smoke. You can't smoke near restaurants or food or indoors or anything like that. I believe there's been more laws with outdoor areas. Like you can't, you can't here and you can't there. Weed is legal in Canada, all of Canada, I believe, and it's not in Australia. So don't smoke weed because you can get in a lot of trouble in Australia if you're caught really bad, like criminal record stuff. Oh, okay. I'm just reading your below comments. So you are living in Vancouver, but now it's, Okay, I watched a walking tour in downtown Melbourne. It seems to be more crowded, but having less cars. Yeah, I would say Melbourne is a busier city overall. It's very happening. It is the second largest city in all of Australia. In terms of, like in Canada, I don't know if Vancouver is the second most populated city. I would say that it's Toronto and maybe Ottawa. Um, Ontario is definitely more populated. So I'd say comparing like city life with Toronto and Melbourne is probably more, it makes more sense than comparing Vancouver and Melbourne. So that brings me to the end of all of those questions. Thank you again to my subscriber for asking all of them. There were a lot of interesting questions, not all that I loved, but I did my best to answer everything. So I hope that this has helped either just my one subscriber or to anyone else out there watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me and listen to my my thoughts and feelings about Melbourne. Just know that I am in a very privileged position in this life. I am an able-bodied Caucasian woman and I do not take that lightly and just 
know that I look through, like my lens is gonna be very different to yours looking at this world and looking at the way in which we live. I hope that makes sense to you. I just wanna be really transparent about that. I definitely do know that I'm in a point of privilege. So just putting that out there, all my thoughts and feelings are just my own experiences and from what I know, but on that, if you do like this sort of content, please let me know. I'm happy to answer or help out in any way I can. But for now, thank you again so much for watching. It means a lot. Hit subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.